guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto finance or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today, there is a lot to go through. Brad Garlinghouse, absolute legend, and of course, Ripple CEO, putting out a bullish prediction that the total crypto market will hit $5 trillion. And there's the infamous doorbell right now. Going to be uh, muting that one right there. And of course, we've got, again, some price predictions for XRP. And I know a lot of people don't like these, but I like it because it just, you know, re-emphasizes the full utility of it. Again, pretty incredible ones right here as well. Uh, we've got analysts flipping bullish on one Ethereum rival. We're going to get into that one as well. Kathy Woods, $1 million Bitcoin price prediction as well. Bitcoin is literally above $71,000 today. Uh, which is quite nice because uh, about seven or eight hours ago, it was hovering below that at around about 68, 69,000 today. So it was very, very interesting. And uh, Anthony Scaramooch, the mooch, we're going to be going over some analysis. I'm also going to be going over my three commas trading bots on Bybit. It's a whole range of stuff to go through. So let's get into the video, ladies and gentlemen. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification because as you can see right here, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come on this incredible journey. Things are getting pretty crazy in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So make sure you give it a good thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. Thank you very much. You rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. All right. Formalities right out of the way, straight to community tab. I do have an espresso because I've got a late night ahead of me. Cheers, everyone. Now... Again, I asked my awesome community about this one. How high do you think the crypto uh, market cap will be by the end of 2024? We've got 29% have said $5 trillion. 37% have said $8 trillion. And to be quite honest, I'm with, you know, basically these two. Uh, $10 trillion, which is 17%, and $15 trillion plus is 16%. I'm in the realm of between eight to ten trillion dollars in total market cap by the end of 2024. There is just so much demand for Bitcoin and crypto now that these institutions are involved in this space. All right. Uh, and again, interesting uh, analysis right here. Bull market. The current crypto cycle is resembling the 2018 and 2021 cycle. Right. Uh, the 2018 and 21 bull cycle saw uh, a Fibonacci extension sequences hit, uh, to hit two and four on the scale. And if similar extension sequence uh, levels are hit, the total crypto market cap will hit a peak of $9.8 trillion. That is definitely on the cards and I think it is definitely possible, but we'll have to wait and see, of course. And of course, we had that victory with Coinbase. And yes, that will set legal precedence for uh, secondary market sales for Ripple, which is very, very bullish. Anyway, let's go to coin market cap today. We have a total crypto market of $2.6 trillion. It would be very nice to see this above the $8 trillion mark because everything you see here would be going absolutely parabolic. Uh, volume is at $62 billion. Have a bit of sip of water. It is quite low. Okay, I mean, from a few months back when it was like pumping to 130, 150 million dollars, a billion dollars, I should say, uh, over a 24 hour period. So uh, we're slightly down, but I'm still remaining bullish. All right, 52% Bitcoin dominance and 76 on the fear and greed index. Bitcoin sitting at $71,213 today, US, uh, $3,564 for Ethereum. Solana is $182. I'm still extremely bullish on Solana. XRP is at 60 cents. Banking coins, Cardano, 60 cents. It's amazing that Grayscale sold off a lot of their Cardano and moved that into XRP not long ago. Uh, now, ICP is $17. This was a $114 asset when I was dollar cost averaging into it. Litecoin, 103. There was a halving event that happened. Someone made a comment on my live about that last night. 
I'm still bullish on Litecoin. Again, it's in the portfolio. Uh, scrolling down, Immutable X at $2.76. Now, Whiff is one that I'm trading. It's up 11.95%. I do have a bot set up on three commas on Bybit with leverage with that one. So we'll keep a close eye. We've got XLM at 13 cents, Hedera at 10. Very, very nice coins. Uh, Casper is at 14 cents as well. VeChain still below 5 cents USD. Scrolling down, meme coins are pumping still. Not that I'm very, I do hold a couple of meme coins. Again, Shiba Inu, I hold Doge. And uh, what was the other one? Pit, Pitbull, which was just a gamble with a friend. But anyway, Say, 73 cents. Very, very nice. Sui, $1.68. Trying to accumulate more of these. Play to earn games. Uh, again, I'm still very bullish on for this next cycle. Again, Gala is at six cents right now. Very, very nice to see that. Quant is at $121. Axie is at $10. Again, I was dollar cost averaging at around about $60 US dollars. So significantly higher from where this is at at the moment. Worldcoin, $7.31. And uh, we do have some other gems like XDC, which no one ever talks about. Trade finance, it's enormous. Uh, again, we've got XYO and Reef. And uh, of course, we have LCX, which is an absolute gem in my opinion, which again, no one is talking about. That is literally tokenizing diamonds. Now, I did get a question about tokenizing gold on XRP or being backed by gold. <clears throat> um, they may wear very well tokenize gold. I know XTC is already doing that in the UAE. So it's going to be very interesting. Anyway, let's go to Crypto Bubbles. And yes, before I do, I do have the Wall Street Bull University links below. Uh, again, this is my official Patreon page where I put up all my buys, sells, trades, indicators, trading bots, my full guide to set up the trading bots with three commas on Bybit. Uh, everything's in here as well as my dividend investing. Again, I have posted up there uh, earlier today. Just everything useful that I'm doing at the moment that's making money, it all goes up in here. It would be considered financial advice, so hence the reason why I've got the Patreon, right? 1,903 posts, not that far off, 2,000 posts. There is a chat feature in here. You can speak to everybody and get some advice if you need it. And you can also direct message me, uh, which is great as well. So go join up. I've kept it at $5 US a month, which is nothing. $8.50 Australian if you want to get access to all my actual <coughs> bots uh, so you can literally copy them on Bybit. It's up to you. Anyway, go join up to that. Quick look at three commas. Now again, I have reactivated all my bots. I've got my 200 pairs uh, bot, which is running at the moment on 12x leverage. Uh, again, all of these bots are using an RSI indicator uh, on a three minute time frame, taking 1.5% profits, which is pretty straightforward. The link for three commas is below. Very, very bullish software. I've been using it for a long time. I'm using it as we speak. It basically trades the markets for me while I'm sleeping. How good is that? Single pairs. I'm trading some bullish coins, of course. Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin, ICP. I've got CFX here again. BCH. I am uh, trading that, which is nice. Both. I should say I've got all these long positions opened up because the market's going quite well. Uh, if I sense the market's going to take a turn, I'll switch on my short bot as well. All right. Now. Just so you can see on Bybit, and by the way, the referral link for Bybit is below. Uh, I've currently got 24 positions opened up. A couple of these are in profit, uh, which is really nice to see that as well. There's currently 42 open orders, and I'm just going to let these trade. The long positions are working quite nicely. And again, I've still got a couple of short positions because I had the bot switched off. So go check it out. It is linked below. Everything is in the Patreon if you want to get a hold of that. Go join up. Very, very bullish community. Now on the day, let's have a look here. We've got CKB or Nervos, Nervos, however you, however you pronounce it. 11% on the day. We're still up 567 on the year, which is crazy. Uh, Lido Dow up 9.7 today, still trading at $2.84. Uh, what else have we got here? Optimism, 7.1% today, still trading at $3. I believe this is an absolute gem. They are working with um, Alphabet, uh, which is quite nice as well. And uh, building out some interesting uh, software. I believe it's for, uh, uh, what is it, IBM. I'm pretty sure that's it. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong, but I have to double check that because I've, I've seen it so many times. Ethereum, 5.2% as well. Still up 92%, 3,569. It's crazy to think the value of uh, Ethereum compared to, say, for example, uh, XRP, uh, given the utility of it and the amount of banks and inf and uh, institutions that are using XRP and Ethereum's at $3,000. Let's see what happens with XRP, ladies and gents. Anyway, we've got Brad Garlinghouse, absolute legend. He's uh, put out a pretty reasonable price uh, for the total crypto market cap, right? 
Brad Garlinghouse, absolute legend, said he expects the entire value of the crypto market to double this year. Citing the arrival of the first US spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds, uh, which came into play on 11th of January this year, and the upcoming so-called Bitcoin halving, right? The overall market cap of the crypto industry uh, is easily predicted to double by the end of this year, impacted by all of those macro, meaning outside factors, uh, Garlinghouse said. One of the uh, other factors Garlinghouse sees uh, is pushing the crypto market to new highs is the possibility of the positive regulatory momentum in the United States. He's so bullish for regulatory clarity, it's not funny, and he has every right to. And without, the, I guess, that win from Judge Torres, I think the entire crypto space would be in a very different position. So this is what happens when you spend hundreds of millions of dollars on legal fees to fight a government regulator, pretty much, and win. All right. We've got market analyst unveils XRP to surge to $1,000. Fingers crossed. Now we've gained Barry C has provided an extensive explanation why he believes XRP could surge to $1,000. There's going to be a lot of hate in this, but I really don't care. I'm just having fun with it. Uh, now, okay, let's have a look into the reasons why. Due to the ambitious nature of this projection, proponents have similarly, uh, similarly dismissed it as impossible. And however, in a detailed thought-provoking analysis, market analyst Barry C laid out a comprehensive uh, case for why this could potentially happen. He drew parallels uh, between the early prices of major cryptocurrencies in 2016 and their subsequent explosive growth, highlighting Bitcoin's rise from $330 to 74000 US dollars. Uh, again, Litecoins jumped from $3 to $400 and Ethereum surged from $10 to $3,000 and XRP's own climb from pennies, literally pennies, to $3. He leveraged these examples to show that the unpredictable and exponential nature of the cryptocurrency valuations, suggesting that the current skepticism around XRP's potential to reach $1,000 mirrors past doubles about other cryptocurrencies' growth. And you have to take that into consideration. You can't say it's not possible because anything is freaking possible in this space. Everyone knows that. Now, again, yes, they're doing the stable coin. I think it's very, very positive. I think it's about time that there's another competitor in the space. And if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Ripple. So that is bullish in my opinion. Kathy Woods predicting $1 million for Bitcoin. Let's see what happens with that. And again, this has all got to do with the exchange traded funds. And of course, contributed to the growing mainstream acceptance of Bitcoin in 2024. Well, again, I honestly believe that we have not even seen the full um, potential of these ETFs yet. It's still very early days. It's only been a couple of months. So let's see where that one goes. And of course, we've got Scaramooch, the Mooch. The founder of managing partner of uh, Skybridge Capital provided a comprehensive overview of Bitcoin's growth potential. Sam Bankman Fried's sentencing and the future of cryptocurrency space during his appearance on CNBC, uh, CNBC's closing bell, which again, I uh, should have watched that. But anyway, I was probably having my morning coffee, right? But the American financier and entrepreneur political figure known for his brief stint in the White House. Uh, now again, he's... Uh, Put out some interesting stuff right here. In addition to the roles of finance and politics, Scaramucci is a public speaker and author. Bitcoin's growth, right? Scaramucci highlighted the significant role of the spot Bitcoin ETFs in a recent price surge, despite the retreat from its all-time high of nearly 74000 US dollars. He pointed out that in January, the launch of the listed Bitcoin ETFs alongside the United States government, uh, allowing the ACCP... Uh, to be attached to Bitcoin has dramatically fueled demand. Scaramucci said that Wall Street's involvement has turned Bitcoin into a highly sought after product with over $10 billion in net inflows uh, for the first quarter alone. And uh, a figure that Scaramucci finds surprisingly high compared to the adoption rates of other investment vehicles, again, like gold ETFs. So they're well and truly going ahead of gold exchange traded funds, which is very nice as well. Scaramucci also touched on the upcoming Bitcoin halving expected around the 20th or 18, 19, 20th of April, uh, which will reduce the daily new supply of Bitcoin, potentially pushing prices up due to increased scarcity. This is what people need to understand. There's a lot of demand for this. He discussed Bitcoin as an inflation hedge, noting its performance compared to the devaluation of the United States dollar since January 2020. Despite Bitcoin's volatility, he stressed that it has never lost value over any four-year holding period, which is crazy when you think about that because there's no other asset class that would do that, right? Let's go to the buy flow and see where the money's been going today. 
And uh, we'll get to X because there's some interesting videos I want to play you guys. But we've got buy flow money going into Ethereum. As you can see, Doge, BNB, WorldCoin. Uh, we have CKB, which is nice. Pepe, I don't hold that. I just trade it. And uh, that is pretty much it with that. Now, coming to the altcoin season index, we are not, uh, again, in an altcoin season right now, which is interesting. Top performers, though, are WIF, Pepe, Core, uh, Arweave, Shiba Inu, BCH, Theta. And uh, where is XRP right here? It's still at 5.1%, just in the bottom there, right there. You can see down here. So again, there's some gems. Solana's there, 79%. In the last 90 days so uh, very very interesting with solana let's have a look at x i'm gonna have a sip of water here we go i'm not used to that bottle yet but it's it's absolutely freaking awesome thank you to those six thousand people that have followed me on x i really appreciate it have a look at this this is the um chief operating officer from link to talking about xrp being used by bank of america have a listen to this would simply port into a liquidity hub as the means of obtaining and managing that XRP position that they need to work through ODL. Right, liquidity hub is just a massive, um, you know, smart router engine. It has feeds to uh, accounts that Ripple has opened across all the liquidity venues around the world. Basically, virtually every exchange where there is depth of liquidity, it has accounts set. So if I'm Bank of America, I, I become a liquidity hub customer. And on any given moment or, you know, where I need, you know, pick a number, a billion dollars worth of XRP to transact, I plug that into liquidity hub and liquidity hub will break that billion dollars up into fractions and route them for execution and closing across all the exchanges to get the optimal average acquisition price for XRP. And then when I'm done using the XRP for ODL, I turn around and I go the opposite direction and I have that same smart engine route my sell order and go back to cash. And that's what I want to do. Sell the XRP across all the venues to get the optimal price for Bank of America, right? And at no time do I ever have to be in a position where I'm actually taking XRP from Ripple itself. I'm doing it through all of these exchanges. And what Ripple will be doing in that instance is it'll be on an ongoing basis looking at the XRP available across all those exchanges worldwide and just distributing XRP through those exchanges. It, it, it will sell XRP into those exchanges to create supply. You would expect. Is that bullish? There you go. Needn't say any more. Uh, Tech Dev right here putting out some analysis. <clears throat> Bitcoin closed two consecutive months over the upper uh, Bollinger Band. And that's an indicator, of course. Each time this, uh, again, it has then doubled within three months. So stay bullish, ladies and gentlemen. That's for sure. Now, XDC, there is some interesting articles coming out right here on Forbes. Not many people are speaking about it, but Real World Asset Tokenization, that's WRA, or sorry, RWA, right? Tokenization of revolutionizing global finance. The XDC network is a leading uh, the transformation, providing a robust platform for tokenizing real world assets. That could be real estate, that could be stocks, bonds, uh, derivatives, whatever. I mean, foreign exchange, real world assets, right? This is going to be huge. Yes, my whole feed is basically Brad Garlinghouse today, which is nice. Legend right there. And uh, again, moving down, Pantera Capital crypto fund surges 66% of my, of my, you know, market optimism, which is very, very bullish as well. Now, interestingly, Bitcoin pretty unlikely to revisit 50K price level. I don't think it will go back to that price level. There's no, there's no way. Uh, again, there's just too much demand for it right here. And just to end up on today's video, Jim Cramer, have a listen to this, man. This is crazy. I can't be in something that where Mr. Bitcoin is about to go down big. I just can't get on it. I can't be in something that where Mr. Bitcoin is about to go down big. We need uh, Jimmy Cramer to put out another uh, another post, or I should say, uh, uh, an interview on CNBC to talk about Bitcoin because uh, the last time he did, it just skyrocketed, right? Anyway. 
that is pretty much it for today. Yes, my main focus, of course, is the banking coins. Everybody knows that. I'm bullish on these. These are the full ones here. Solana and XRP are gems, in my opinion. Uh, and again, let's just go quickly to my banking coin list. I'm not going to go through them all. I did share this uh, this morning in the Patreon, so go join up. But I mean, XDC is up 2.3% as well. LCX, 3.65%. That is an exchange. And yes, the exchange is tokenizing diamonds. Energy web token, everything's going carbon neutral, which we know by 2030, right? Uh, Casper, sorry, is the project uh, that is uh, working with uh, Alphabet or Google and IBM, I should say, not Optimism. So, but I'm still bullish on Optimism as well. And of course, Chainlink. I mean, the, the project is so interoperable, guys. It's just linked with everybody, of course, which is insane. But that is pretty much it, guys. I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. Make sure you have a good night. Stay safe, stay bullish, and join the Wall Street Boy Universities linked below in the video description. Take care of yourselves. Have a good night, good afternoon, and good morning. And if it's morning, have an espresso. Peace out, bulls. Bye.